Okay, next in our series of movies is looking at the calendar function within Moodle. A very important function so that you can keep track of all your events and uh, know when assignments are coming up and post events yourself. So let's have a look at that. We're currently logged in. You can tell we're logged in because it's telling us at the top here. If we come down to the navigation section again, we can see one of our sections is calendar. Let's expand on that by pressing the little plus icon again. And just scroll down a little bit. And me as a teacher, I've gone in and I've created a couple of events here. And you can see them on the calendar block. Currently the calendar block is showing January. We can move it forward month by month by using the right arrow or the left arrow, as you can see there, previous month and next month. So you can see at the moment it's highlighted if we hover over the 10th, well, it's the 10th today, it won't be the 10th where you are, but um, it's the 10th here today. And there's no events, and it tells us that if we hover over the 10. But you can see here there's um, two blocks which are coloured, one which is green and one which is um, a peach colour. I'll hover over the green one to start with. And you can see there, it gives us the date, and it also says um, there's a school band. Now, I'll explain what the green colour is for in a second, but uh, just at a glance, you can see there, without actually going into the calendar page at all, you can see that there is uh, the events listed for you within the block. So it's a very easy way to be able to tell if there's assignments due, if a teacher posts assignments on the calendar, or if there's homework due. Um, Let's hover over the peach one, and you can see there it says, what's the matter, homework. Now this is a course event. Um, this only applies to the course in particular that you are subscribed to. Um, and we'll go into a little bit more detail about that in a second. Let's click on the date. So we'll hover over the date, January uh, 2011, and click on that. And that takes us to the calendar view. Just to describe the calendar view a little bit here, you can see at the moment, because we clicked on January, we're currently in the January um, event um, site. And we can change our view of that. We can click on the calendar section here. If we click on that, that will then give us a overview of all the events um, within a certain period of time. Um, it's usually about 60 days, so it shows you the next 10 events coming up, and it also shows you um, about at least 60 days or 90 days in advance. So you can get um, a long-term view of all your assignments or events coming up. Now, as I said to you before, these are color-coded, so um, you can see here that the school band, this is just a, a make-believe event, both of these are, and um, the school band recital is on Wednesday the 19th of January. If we come up to the top here, you can see it's a global event. That means it's a school-wide event, and that's posted site-wide so that everybody on every course in every year level can see that. Um, and some teachers have the administrative rights to be able to do that. I do, um, but some teachers only have access to post course events. Um, speaking of course events, you can see here that uh, one of these is coloured peach, and that is a course event, and that relates directly to your course. We can filter this so we don't have to look at um, the global events. We can hide the global events by clicking on the actual um, link itself. You can see there the tooltip says global events are shown. Click to hide. If we do that, Now the global event has been hidden and we only see our course events. So you can actually filter it down so that you can only concentrate on the pieces that you want to. Okay, so that's how to look at um, events. We can also export those events into a calendar program like um, iCal on the Mac or um, Microsoft Outlook. And I encourage you to do this. Um, if we hover over this link here and click on this, it says export calendar. 
that takes us to this page here. Now we can choose our options here. We can choose to export all the events, that's all the events that are posted up until now, or the events related to courses, so just the course events that you're subscribed to. We can also choose to only export the events for just this week, this month, or recent in the next 60 days. And there's two things we can do to export. We can either export it directly, and that just becomes a file, and then you can open up that file in Outlook. But that's not the best way of doing it. That's a static event. It doesn't refresh every time a teacher or an administrator posts a new event. It won't automatically update in your Outlook. The best way to do it is to get hold of the calendar URL, which is this button here. And this below here, this is the calendar URL. So what we can do is we can highlight this, the whole thing, and then we can go up to edit and copy. So we copy that URL. And in a subsequent movie, I'll show you how to post it into um, Outlook. Obviously, you're using a PC. Um, I'll show you how to do it in iCal if any of you have Macs at home. I'll just move over to iCal. And this is my iCal calendar. So we can go up to calendar and go up to subscribe. And then we enter that URL in there. So we go to edit and paste. And it pastes in that full URL. And I'm going to press subscribe. And it asked me to enter a calendar, so I'm going to call it Moodle. And I'm going to click OK. And now what will happen is I can go back to my calendar, which is here. Actually, just one thing. If we go to our month view, there you go. You can see there that my Moodle calendar is green, and those two events have actually been posted, one on the 19th, one on the 21st, into my calendar. So I don't actually have to go into the Moodle calendar to actually see it. The good thing about this is if I go back to the calendar, and I'm going to go back to the calendar page. I'm now going to post a new event. So this will just be a personal event because students only have the option to post a personal event. So I'm going to click on new event. And here we are at the new event page. And you can see there we only have the choice to uh, post a user event. That is a personal event to you. So you could put in the fact that you've got homework due on a certain date. Let's just say we have homework due. And just generic homework, that's fine. You can put in a description if you want to. And I'm going to say that that homework is due on the, let's say it's due on the, 22nd. Okay. I'm not going to give it a duration. You could give it a duration if you want to. You could let it make it last over several days if you wished. If it was a holiday or something like that, that's fine. Um, you can post in a duration in minutes. So you can say the homework is going to last for 30 minutes, for example. And you could make it repeating if it's something that you do on a regular basis. So I'm going to save those changes. And you can see here that it's updated in Moodle. We now have a homework event on the 22nd. Let me just skip back to iCal, and this would be the same on Outlook. Now you can see here 22nd has nothing on it at the moment, but we need to refresh it. So I'm going to right click on there and go to refresh. And you can see there it's popped up, 7.25 p.m. homework. 
and you can set Outlook or iCal to do a refresh every five minutes or every half an hour so that it will always pick up on your events. So I encourage you to do this. Um, let's just go back to Moodle for a second. I encourage you to use the calendar program. It's very powerful within Moodle. You can create your own events. You can keep track of homeworks, assignments that teachers post up online. And uh, it's very good to keep yourself organized. So there we are. We have it. The calendar.